Okay, here we are at NAMM 2012. We're at the Korg booth, and we're here talking to James Sachiva, and we're going to talk a little bit about uh, some of the items they got here that's new. This one's been out uh, for a couple months. It's the uh, IK Oscillator, which uh, is, uh, if you guys are familiar with the K Oscillator, it uh, looks like it's an iPad version of that, but I'll let James give us a little bit more. Oh, well, you're absolutely right. I'll expound on that a little bit. Uh, what we've done is we've taken some of the great features of the original K Oscillator and put them into an iPhone and iPad app. So basically, you have an XY pad here where you can create your own synth lines, drum patterns, etc., and you can record up to five of those. Okay, and it plays back your gestures for you, which is actually kind of neat to just look at. Um, in addition to that, you've got mute and solo per part. So you can really get hands-on and do arrangements in real time with it. In addition to that, you could also take what you've done and export it as a WAV file. So it can be used in your computer, you can share it online. And it's just a really intuitive, easy to use app. You can choose your scale, you can choose your key, and basically just create musical works all your own very quickly. Uh, for some of the people out there that might not be familiar with it, they're just getting into it, they got an iPad, what, what's, what's, what's behind it uh, in the K Oscillator what, how, that you're controlling and where the sounds are coming from, just so people that might not know already? Well, it sounds like a system of a lot of things. It's got, you've got synth lines, you've got bass lines, um, you've got sound effects, you've got drum patterns which are predetermined. Um, they go from um, less complex to more complex as you go from left to right. Then there's playable drums where basically you play different parts of the pad and you engage different sounds of a drum kit or different tunings of a conga, et cetera, et cetera. And those, that could all just be recorded into a loop length of your choice. And then in addition to that, we also have some loops that are already kind of in there. Um, and you could actually choose different parts for different tracks. So you can mix and blend electronic, predetermined electronic stuff with preset breakbeat. And you can kind of experiment, even if you've never laid your hands on the XY pad, at building your own custom Phrases. So you got pre presets here that you can actually use if you don't know how to do any of uh, this stuff or just you know playing around and uh, creating your own uh, sound songs and, and grooves. Um, uh, if you want, you can put your own samples in there, your own uh, loops and beats, and uh, then process them through K Oscillator. Well, not you. Be careful about that. You may not want to edit that because you can't put your own stuff into here. Oh, you can't. No, you got to use what's in the, in the. Okay. okay. So just so you, you got a little edit there. But what I'm saying is, is that even if you never touch the XY pad, if you don't want to create your own scalings or whatever the case may be, we've got these preset things, preset loops. So like for example, on track one, I'm going to pick trance. On track two, I'm going to pick this. And I can kind of mix and match, and they'll all play together. And I can also right, change okay. those on the fly. So if I want to create a performance, I can go and just change this. And then the next loop around, it'll actually change to the next pattern. Excellent. Excellent. And that can also, of course, be incorporated with your own recordings. So come in here and do what you want to do on each part, and then it'll just loop that back for you. Okay, and can, the, can this in any way be used uh, uh, with, with your, your external DAW or anything like that? Once again, you can export WAVE, and then once you've exported WAVE, it can go anywhere. Okay. It can, it can go into an MP3 player, it can go into your favorite DAW. It could serve as the basis uh, to basically expound upon you know, musically. You could put the loop in there, cut it apart, uh, add new parts to it from your external gear or your soft sense or what have you. Well, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. It's uh, the K-Oscillator, iK-Oscillator, now on the iPad. Enjoy. Check it out.